okay so let's take a look at how you can plot various types of plots using data set in Chamovi so first thing make sure to open Chamovi and okay now next thing is we'll search for data now you can use data sets like this iris right Alternatively, you can check other data sets which are found in sites like Kegel or Data Hub. So here you can see we have Iris data sets. So basically it has these columns, sepal length, width, petal length, width, and there is also species class. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the CSV file from this data hub page right so here is the csv file clicking on it should save one on desktop right so we have the file next thing is you can also check for other data set if you want go to kegel and search for data sets here you'll have to check for various available data sets here right and here you can see IMDb top movies. Then there are some of the data sets related to education, NLP, vision, science, right? So choose the one that is applicable for your case. Next thing, we'll open Jmovie here. And here in Jmovie, we go to open. You can also use special import or you can use data library that comes with it. Right, so for now we will just go with our own data so within csv file and within desktop we have iris so it should open a new window showcasing those columns simple length width petal length width and variety so in some cases you will find this variety uh, instead of species name right so depending on the, your source for getting this data set it will vary now within analysis tab you will find exploration then you will check descriptives now here I'm going to check few columns right so before that we'll go to stats then uncheck n missing then we'll uncheck mean median also in this position standard deviation minimum maximum we will remove all of that now what we'll do is we will select these variables okay, one two three four then we will move to variables right then we'll come to plots right and here we'll select histogram on right hand side you will see the descriptives below that plots showing density versus simple length if you check for next plot there is density versus simple width also density versus petal length and density versus petal width so this was for your descriptives regarding histograms plot so there are multiple plots you can have which is box plot violin data q plot then bar plot so we'll take a look at some of that right so here we'll also add variety for split and the data will vary here again as you can see your data will now include split by variety which is spaces and the histogram will change now Okay, now the next thing would be to let's take our species back, uncheck histogram, right, and then go for density. And you'll have your density plot for your density versus sepal length width, petal length width. Right, now I can also add my species split here 
and it, that should also change few plots right so here you see your variety versus species versus sepal length right so here your density plot would change a lot than your histogram here as you can see so next thing we can uncheck density next thing we will do is remove the split right and now what we'll do is we will use box plot we have already selected four columns of variables and here you see box plot you can use label outliers or remove them which will change few things slightly but you can keep them if you want right then you have your plot for simple length simple width petal length and petal width right so now what we will do is we will add our species variety in the split and then go for box plot again and there you have your species variety and respective box plot right now if we uncheck this also remove the split we have one more plot to explore before that within box plot we have two variation one is violin if you check this it will show you the violin plot with and without split right as you can see with your species split by you will have different plots Okay, it's for your simple length width, petal length, petal width, right? So you have four graphs plots to view here. Now what we can do, uncheck the violin, remove the split by variety. Now what we can do, select the data. So this data plot will be showing you now for simple length width petal length width right and if we add species split by option then you will have these three variations there is also option for jitter and stacked so by default jitter is selected you can change that to stack and your plot will also change as you can see now output with the stack will be looking like this right you can uncheck this now and remove the split by variety there is also one more option here which is mean which kind of gets enabled only when you select the data so let's add this mean option and here you see mean of our sepal length width, petal length width and let's say if I choose split by species variety then three variation should be there with mean right so let's uncheck both of them remove the split by now what we have here is bar plot after looking at bar plot we will also check Q plots Right, so we have our four variables and now let's select bar plot and here we have this is for our simple length width petal length and width right so if we add the species split by it should do three bar plots right showing setosa or a color and virginica right now if we uncheck this remove the split by species variety now let's move to the q plots also known as qq plots select them and you have your q plots that looks something like this for 
standard residuals then article quantities right so for this is for simple length width petal length width right now what we can do add the split by species variety and you have your plots separated with three different species variety right they have done this to avoid overlapping so it's available for your length simple length width petal length width as well right now this is something i have done with our iris data set if you choose to go with some of the existing data set something like let's say if you go to open in data library you have these four options as well where you have this big file tooth growth box and anderson's iris data so i have taken my iris data from outside sources if you want you can also use the official one from the Jamovi's data right so if you check that you will notice that you have species column name so if you go for exploration descriptives you will have species here as listed so i've just shown you exactly what to do with the same data however if you take it from external sources this name would be different like variety or some other right so that's the only difference other than that you will be getting the same plots through plots tab right make sure to un uncheck the options before going for those plots right so as you can see you have these columns if you drop them here you will have your histogram plot exactly the same way we got with the data set that we downloaded from external source right so we looked at few plots in jamovi histogram box plot bar plot and q plots